This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the reason that we almost never heard of multi-lock. What you see here is one of multi-lock's earlier C13 padlocks. Now, the C-series design is pretty solid. The issue was with the completely open keyway that multi-lock called Gamma. If we take a close look at the blade, we can see it is a solid bar of metal with a bidding cut into it. This was apparently subject to a foil impressioning attack, though I've never been able to get that to work on any of the three gammas in my collection. Even so, this vulnerability became a big public relations problem when it was featured on a British TV show. In response, Multilock switched to what we now know as the classic 06 keyway, and even offered existing customers a discount if they wanted to switch over. The company took a hit, but banked a lot of goodwill, which was promptly cashed in when the company was purchased by Asa Abloy. That of course propelled it into the worldwide phenomenon it is today. So enough history, let's see what it takes to pick this open. I'm going to use this Z-bar as a turning tool, and to lift the pins, we're going to use this multi-pick dimple flag. Okay, outer pin on number one is binding. Nice click there. Same one out of two, click there. Number three, click there. Nothing on four, nothing on five, back to the beginning. Nothing on inner or outer of number one. Inner pin on two, nice click there. Nothing on inner or outer pins of number three. Okay, number four is binding, outer pin, nice click there. Outer pin on five is binding. We dropped into a bit of a false set. Back to number one where the inner pin is binding, click there. Nothing on two, three, four. Okay, inner pin on number five is binding. Nice click there and we're in a nice deep false set. Should just have a couple more inner pins left to pick. Nothing on one, two, click on the inner pin on three, inner pin on four, inner pin on five, and we got this open. Okay, folks, while I was able to get this open without too much trouble, it's certainly a lock that will require both specialized tools and skills to open. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.